speaking of movies, did you hear what's happening with the Han Solo movie? Uh, yes, they ditched the director and got Ron, Ron Howard. Yeah, I'm really upset about this because they announced this uh, uh, Han Solo, young Han Solo movie, and I'm like, okay, that might be good. Um, it'll probably be a lot more lighthearted than Rogue One, which is just a big fucking downer. And then they announced and I think that the- I think Ron Howard could possibly pull it off. Here's, I mean, it's kind of re- tough stepping in somebody's shoes like that, though. Yeah. Well, well. first they announced that that funny guy from uh, from uh, 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 Hail Caesar yeah. is, was Han Solo, and I love that. Would that it that twer so funny. simple. That's, that's like the one of the, my favorite scenes in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and then for, for young Lando Calrissian, they got fucking Troy from Community! And yes. I'm so excited about that. And then I got even more excited when they announced the writers, producer, director of the movie, uh, uh, Lord and Miller. Are the, they wrote and directed the Lego movie, 21 yes. Jump Street, 22 Jump Street. They created the MTV show Clone High, and they're fucking hilarious. So I'm like, okay, them being doing the Han Solo movie means that this is going to be fun and funny. And apparently they have a reputation for doing the film very relaxed and letting people ad lib and, and really having a sense of of freewheeling camaraderie on the set and everybody's friends and they get a say in the script and how they want the film to be. And all of those things that I just described are not Disney, not star Wars and definitely not, Disney Star Wars. Yeah. And so they fucking fired uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller from the Han Solo movie. And that's so fucked up because they've been filming since January. And it made me like retroactively sad, you know, like I didn't know they were filming. I didn't know they had directors. I found out, I found out that they fired the directors and then I went to find out a little more about this, and I was like, oh, fuck, that sounded like it could have been a good movie. Yeah, I want to see I want to see the Lego movie and 21 Jump Street guys do Star Wars. That looks like it's going to be fun. I feel like Star Wars hasn't been fun for a long-ass time. I mean, it's got to have, it's, it's still got to have action and something in the way of a star war. Yeah. Even if it's like three or four ships, that's okay. You know, mm. but but the fun of it that is what's been missing and and Han Solo in the original movies, he was fun. Yeah, with his little quips and stuff like that, you know, and just too cool to be in the same room with him. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I think they could have done a good job with that. I think Ron Howard could do a good job too, though. Yeah, I think so. Especially since all he's done for the last couple of decades is music documentaries and Arrested Development. Yeah, yeah. But he knows how to work with midgets already, so... Yes, he does. You yes, know, does. that's usually important on a Star Wars movie. I keep every time someone says Ron Howard, I go through this like two second process where they say Ron Howard and I go, who the hell is that? And then I remember (laughs) Saturday Night Live and Eddie Murphy and Eddie Murphy didn't know who Ron Howard was until he realized, oh, wait, you're Opie Cunningham. (laughs) It's Opie Cunningham. Oh, I can't believe Opie Cunningham. I'm talking to Opie Cunningham. Mm hmm. So yeah, Ron Howard is Opie Cunningham. Mm-hmm. Yep. And and it it always makes me wonder if in the last season, before he left Happy Days, if they were having to glue his hair on. Yeah, because it seems like yeah. he left Happy Days, and immediately came just, became just bald as a cue ball, like he had fucking gold in that skull. Yeah, I'm sad about... I'm really sad about the Han Solo movie. 
Yeah. I, I mean, I hope they can pull it off. They've been filming for freaking months. So. Firing the directors halfway through. Yeah. You, you know, there are some there are some things that just creep me out about a movie. And that's certainly one of them. Firing the directors halfway through. Or the phrase, we're bringing everybody back in for a few reshoots. Yeah. Oh, no. 